Welcome. My name is Dennis Ward and host of Louisiana Heartbeats. And today I have Carolyn Smith Hallam and Cheryl Gilry, two talented artists who are anticipating a opening exhibition at Gallery R downtown at next month's Art Walk. So uh, let's start with you, Carolyn. Um, you've lived many places, being from a military family. And Carolyn. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. And my phone won't stop going off. It's okay. Yeah, you've um, come from a military family, and you've described your art being God-inspired. Mm -hmm. uh, that really intrigued me, and I, I'd like you to tell the viewers just exactly what you mean. Um, I basically, when I start painting, you know, I kind of pray about it before I start painting, and um, I just, you know, um, I just um, start painting different, like the angels mean something to me, and um, I just do a lot of abstract, like reflection, reflections of the mirrors and stuff. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Um, it just, uh, it's really inspiring to me because I've gotten closer with God after I had a brain tumor in 2004. Oh my gosh. And um, I got closer to God. The, um, it just, you know, life means more to me now than, you know, it has before. And I think a lot of people take for granted you know, of, of their situations and stuff in life. And it's kind of been like a journey for me to do the angel paintings that it just inspires me with, with you know, the, you know, the religion is important to me and stuff, so. Right. Yeah. So um, you've lived many places to, in the yeah, world. Yeah, I have. Did, did, um, you, did that also inspire your art? Yeah, actually um, it did. Um, Virginia, um, Northern Virginia area, it's really pretty um, there, and um, just the art museums there really uh, inspired me over there, and um, also, like, well, I got to live in Hawaii for like three years. Oh, that's we great. Were, yeah, and um, also in Illinois for three years, and then my dad retired from the military in Virginia, um, and uh, I've been always inspired with art. You describe yourself as an abstract artist and a primitive artist, and um, go ahead and, and the primitive side would be the piece of Angel. Yeah, Angel of Peace, Angel yes. of Peace. Um, I did that actually, it kind of inspired me. My, um, my dad's uh, disease uh, that he had was vascular dementia, and um, also, um, he had he had gotten a stroke and and the angel of peace is actually I I was working on that piece when um, he was in the nursing home and he was he was he was dying and it kind of inspired me to um, reach out um, and you know I, I want him to be p at peace you know right. because he had been through a lot of five years of of uh, of hardship with his disease and I know you know, that he didn't really want to, you know, feel, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, when I start talking about that, uh, I'm yeah. sorry. My, with, my dad no, just with, passed. So. With dementia, I'm sure that he suffered a lot. He and, did. And I, I believe that, you know, my father had Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So, um, they need their guardian angels. Yes, and I, I did a healing angel too as well for him, um, and that inspired me. And he he was my inspiration um, for painting, and my godmother also was a big inspiration for me as well. And um, of course, God is my number one inspiration. But That's um, great. he he really um, I really wanted to make my dad proud of me. You're, you're not afraid to use vivid colors and uh, mixed media. I love colors. Yeah. It's got a certain uh, factor there yeah. that um, is out of the box. Right, right, I like it a lot. I, I, use, I like to use vivid colors to bring out the painting so people can 
you know, say, wow, you know. Where so. did this come from, the, the courage think, to use found objects? and? Um, I think just um, the feeling of um, re um, reconnecting with my father as he was ill and also um, I try and use the vivid colors to connect with people and their emotions when they look at the painting and um, for them to have some, you know, some sort of feeling, a God feeling as well mm -hmm. with that. So. Well, I'm sure it will convey to the patrons during the exhibition. Yeah. I have lots of stuff. It's called Heavenly Journey. So. Well, Miss Cheryl, you have had formal art training. Yes. And you now are, have, is this your first show? This that, is my first show ever. I'm so excited. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> That's great. Congratulations. I've, I've always wanted to do an art show. And I've learned to draw since I was eight years old. I was drawing Snoopy's on his doghouse. Oh, no. And I had this wonderful aunt. Her name was Aunt Sis. And uh, one day out of the blue, she saw that I loved drawing. And she brought me a sketch pad along with oil uh, pastels and also drawing pencils and erasers. Well, it took off from there. Wow. <laughs> and whenever mm -hmm. I happened to get to college, uh, whenever I got to college, they asked me if I wanted to, uh, uh, what was my minor? Because whenever I was going to college back then, that you had to have a minor. And they, uh, I said, well, visual arts, of course. Right. <laughs> and, and I learned formally from, uh, her name is uh, uh, Joanne Quillman. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, one of her art pieces are here on, in Lafayette. You ever go to Piccadilly? Right. With that big piece where you, the sitting area. Oh, yeah. The, the uh, what's it called? Uh, the table setting. That is her work. Amazing. It's all in oil. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she taught me, she taught me the basic masters of drawing about seeing objects and painting them what you see because everybody looks at objects and say oh that's a chair yeah it's a chair but it's got form and it's got uh shapes and it's got texture and there's other things associated to to that chair that people don't see you'll say it's just a chair <laughs> so you've been doing art from an early age yes and You've always had this passion that yes. you've you're, that's amazing. Yes. So um, this story, your art tells a personal story of your journey with um, the disease breast cancer. Yes. yes. So tell the viewers just more about how art was a cathartic process for you to. Actually, art. Me and Art didn't get along very well with the first part of it. Uh, I, I'm a five year, uh, I'm gonna be actually a six year survivor in, um, in August. But whenever I was first diagnosed with it, it's like everything, my motivation, my creativity, it, it, it just went away. Whenever they took my breasts away, they took my creativity away too. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, anyway, it, it's been a journey, like sinking, because I have, I have totally, like I had shut it down for five years because I was seeing, doc I was seeing eight doctors going to test and taking tests and uh, I'll go back and forth to doctors. My life was, my life was rotated around taking tests and seeing doctors and I was seeing doctors every week or every month you know yeah. like I was, I was seeing my doctors before I was see uh, uh, more than I was seeing my family but I'm slowly as the uh, the visits decrease and uh, uh, the medications have changed uh, and also speaking with other artists to get my motivation back because I really wanted to get back to painting I, uh, I, spoke, I spoke to a lot of artists in town, the ones in the gallery downtown every time I'd go to Second Saturday or walk, and uh, just others who I worked with or whom I know that helped me, that gave me motivation, that told me what to do in case I ever like hit another, uh, what you say, what you call it again? Hit a, I, like I couldn't draw anymore. A block, yeah. So my block, block yeah. lasts for about five years until I started oh, draw, until I started drawing and painting again. That's and terrible when you get that too. Yes, <laughs> and my I hit with depression. I had depression. I had everything you can imagine, and just all creativity was just sucked out of me. <laughs> but this piece 
with the boxing gloves, yes. white like a girl. Yeah. Um, it is a symbolic piece mm -hmm. of your five-year, six-year struggle. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty amazing. Um, I noticed you did it in somber tones. Yes. Uh, that well, my main reason for doing it that way is well, because breast cancer, they always have like the pink boxing gloves that aren't very worn or damaged. I picked the older set that been through the battle, you know, and ready to fight again. And that's why it is painted that way. Great. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that's that will inspire, inspire a lot of people. Um, your piece, New Beginnings, yeah. how does it apply now to your life and you know what brought you to do this piece okay okay um i had my radiation call at a oncologist uh, in the uh, lady of lords uh, campus and um one day because i still go every so often to uh to their workshops or whatever they have for uh, you know the breast cancer survivor or cancer survivors period and uh, one day I was I went I knew this, this um, self-taught painter online and I found out that she was teaching she, her her main category was doing uh, abstracts she did abstracts and she's a, a self-taught art artist so whenever I went that's that's a painting by the way that I painted over there and uh, it's called New Beginnings because of two reasons. One, that she sure like snapped it out of me that day. <laughs> my, my block just went away. And that uh, the painting symbolizes that the fact that, hey, my ideas are coming back, my creativity is coming back. And also, this is all, the first time I ever worked in uh, um, uh, acrylics before. Oh. So she told me, not only I do abstracts, but also do acrylics. And it, it's like she just brought me back. It, it's been it's been hard at times because I, I still experience this block every so often. But then I just do what she does. <laughs> Go back to my abstracts and, and um, or anything, matter of fact, and just just put paint on a canvas and get my work done. Because right after I did this one, I went home the next night. I mean, that, that night, and I did another one. Oh, except really? on a bigger one, yes. And that's also going to be at the show. That one's called Coming Back, matter of fact. So I take it your, both your work, your lady's work, really tells a story. It's almost like a visual art journal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like my life story with Heavenly Journey. Um, I was going to also just add, if I could. Sure. Um, okay. Um, on one of the paintings, I don't know if he's got them up, but it's called um, Shattered Crossroads. And there, um, I use like the mirror pieces. Not I, not many artists. I don't see them so far. I, I don't see them doing the mosaic. Uh, you know, I actually break the mirrors. <laughs> right. And um, a lot of people don't think that they're gonna have seven years of bad luck. I don't believe in that. But like <laughs> I, I do that, and I think it's just neat how the shape comes out, and then I just lay it on the painting with other and mosaic stuff as well. I notice sometimes you paint the glass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you nothing's have a, perfect, you know. That's art, <laughs> right? So, and yeah. life. Yeah, ex exactly. exactly. Well, um, describe the what's going to happen on April fourteenth. When, where, <laughs> where? <laughs> what's going to happen? Where, I think it's our art show. There. Yeah. So that's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as far as we want as many people as you can to you know come to our yeah. art show. That'd be great. We to would see like. Everybody. We were like. Uh, people who normally wouldn't do a second Saturday or walk yeah. to come to the gallery, not just our gallery, not just uh, gallery or downtown, but also yeah. come to all the galleries and go to ACA and meet with myself. I, I personally, through a uh, second Saturday or walk, I met like the creator, uh, curator over there personally, and I know a few other artists around town just like visiting second Saturday or walk, and they can fill you in on their paintings, fill you in on all kind of creativity, all kind of information, anything. Just ask an artist, and an artist will tell you. <laughs> well, um, the gallery art, is this a group show, or? It's yeah, just going to be, be she and I. Just, yeah. just right. two ladies, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's an honor. That's a very high honor. Yes, it is. I want to say something else, if I can. Sure. Um, 
I have like two paintings that I'm doing right now. And um, the first one that I ever did was called the Alpha Angel. And I don't know if you ever heard this, it's in the Bible, but um, if you have a, a higher power um, or God, um, it's, it's not the end, it's just the beginning. And it's somewhere in the Bible, but that's one of the things it quotes in the Bible. And um, I have the Alpha Angel, the one I started in the very beginning. And the very beginning of my angels, I don't have faces on them. Um, it's because I couldn't really see, you know, in my journey of life, in my heavenly journey, I couldn't really see. And then I have the Omega Angel, which I just got done with uh, today. And um, it's, it's actually the beginning. It's kind of like the opposite, even though they're named the, the Alpha. It's really the, the, the Omega, and the Omega is really the Alpha. So I just thought that was kind of neat. <laughs> So how many angel paintings will be on exhibition? Um, actually, I think um, maybe eight of them or so, oh, maybe. That's great. Yeah. And in total? I have, well, I'm going to see if we can put up 17. I've got 17 pieces. Wow, mm -hmm. that's great. So. And you, sure? I'm trying very hard to get 17 up. I, more than likely, I will. But uh, If we can fit them up there. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm taking the wall and she's taking the shelf. So... Um, yeah, it'll probably be around 15 to 17 paintings. My painting, I work very big. Most of my paintings are very big. And what my, my story is, is, it's sort of like my life in pictures, you could say, of paintings. And pretty well, my art is going to like not only be visually pleasing to the eye, but it's also going to be educational, too, for anybody who's ever gone through breast cancer or had cancer in general. You'll understand if you see it. And I want to encourage anybody who's ever had breast cancer, but any man or woman, because men do get breast cancer right. too, to come and see and see whether or not you could, if it touches your heart and if you understand the message I'm trying to say to my art. I uh, agree with what uh, you're saying too. But, uh, you know, it, to me, I see the show as mostly for them than for me. It's my own healing through breast cancer and getting over the artist block and, but it's, if I could just educate one person through my exhibit, I, I've made, I, I did my purpose. You know, I did, I did what I wanted to do. I accomplished my, what I wanted to do. Well, I think <laughs> the combination of both your ladies were, yeah, is I very to touch people too, powerful. Definitely. And through through everything that I've been through as well, I don't mean to interrupt, mm -hmm. but um, uh, like I have um, depression as well. And also I suffer from bipolar. Um, and I know there's people out there that you know have mental illnesses as well, um, but I wanted to show people that it's also a good tool when you do painting. It's a good art therapy as well to do that. Um, it just helps you. Um, there is one painting I want to let you know about. It's called Freedom. It's a, a flag that I did for my my father to dedicate it to him, um, and um, it's when I had art block um, after he passed January 12th. Um, I couldn't paint. And it was just really hard. So I just got a piece of canvas, a bare canvas, and just took some red and blue paint and just, I mean, it's just a very abstract American flag, but it's called freedom. So is this specifically a tribute to your father? Yes, it is. Father? Most of this, like, heavenly journey is a tribute to my father and to God as well. You know, he's definitely, you know, he's the one who gave me the talent, so... And yeah. mine is called, uh, as you know, called uh, Reconstructed, past tense, right. as being, you know, over that. You know, we're, we're coming over it, and my life has been changing since because it's been reconstructed, it's been made over, and um, my paintings are going to be the reflection of, the, the, of the, the reconstruction, of the making, the new making of me, you could say. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it's gonna in, like embody a lot of uh, what I've learned through artists and through my experiences and also to educate others. And I want them to enjoy it too. I want people to come out who's Norman who doesn't come out to Second Saturday Walk and see, see what not only that what we have to offer for uh, gallery art downtown, but also offer for the rest of the, uh, the artists in our community. Yeah, we wanna reach out to everybody. Yeah. Even people who don't like art, you should just come and see because the art walk is fantastic. Oh, so yeah. there's yeah. a lot, you know, 
people, a lot of crowds and stuff. Yeah, get to know yeah. the artists, get to know who you're buying from, uh, get to know their style, get to see where they're coming from and what their, their story art. is. I mean, there exactly. there's a million stories out there and it's up to you to find them. <laughs> well, I, I really think that you, both your artwork together is very powerful. Yeah. Actually, I call her my angel because I was originally given this in November of last year. I asked and the gallery said, yes, they, they like my art. Well, I was still suffering with my art block and I, I, I had a had a light bulb idea, let's say. Mm -hmm. And I asked Carolyn if she wanted to do it and she said yes. So, <laughs> so I went ahead and I, I approached the idea with uh, with the gallery and well, they you said yes. Well, me too, Cheryl. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, We've been through a lot, both she and yeah. I. And Have we're, you she, known she each other long? Just well, at church. Just church yeah. yeah, we go yeah. to First Baptist Church. Okay. Mm -hmm. She actually, she doesn't know this, but um, when she was messaging me, little did she know that my dad, well, she knew my dad was sick, but she didn't know like he was dying that week. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, not a good time. You know, I told her little bits and stuff. And it's just been really hard. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the same time that, that her dad was uh, passing, she was getting accepted to the art gallery. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you know. I hope he's proud of me. <laughs> I'm sure he is. I hope he is. And it's like when one thing is taken from you, another well, it's comes kind of in. inspiring, yeah. though, because at least, you know, have something to be doing while I'm grieving. Yeah. Right. Which is good. And, and uh, it expresses. And, like with the the, and with the deadline we have, because we're hanging on the 30th of this month, it sure pushes you to do the <laughs> artwork. <laughs> I mean, and you have no choice. <laughs> I can imagine that midnight oil is burning in both your oh, houses. Two yeah. o'clock at night painting, three o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to get it done, then I'm going to get it on the walls. <laughs> Are you both the type of artist that eight hours passes? Yes. We don't know. Um, yeah. 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 I, I stand up and I, you know, I paint my, I paint my art, and then it's like, so I take a break for about 10 minutes. If I, if I uh, like, something's not showing up right in my piece i take get away from it and that's what i have to do I'll go too. back yeah. later and I'll, I'll touch it up or do whatever i have to do or just let it sit for a day or two and like, oh, i'll get back to you <laughs> well um the um gallery how did you uh, form a relationship with gallery art actually it was facebook uh i was the one that connected with them they had put out a a message asking for artists to uh who who would like to hang but you had to go through the agreement process you know and uh i presented some of my works and uh, like 17 pictures but they were like 20 years old and uh but they said yes we love your work come and uh and uh and that's basically what it was and whenever i uh i got accepted and i was uh, had that block again. <laughs> I asked Carolyn, you know, if she if she wanted to come on, you know. But I was, mm -hmm. uh, it was, it didn't take very long because I'd bothered them. I bothered them for about a week. I said, am I sick? And I was like, <laughs> well, you're keeping and, uh, me on my feet too. So, <laughs> so you know, they they provide the motivation, and I just can't wait for the show to happen. Since my first show, it's like I want people to come. <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have um, like wine and yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, for uh, we send out invitations, and we have you know just a little, a little what they say, coup de tay kind of thing, and cookies for the kids, cookies and waters for the kids. Um, oh, that's my shattered crossroads up there, yeah. everyone. But yeah. I do, I do want to, yeah. oh, I do want to put a disclaimer out though. There will be nudes. <laughs> okay. There yeah, will be the nudes. So if anybody who has children, to uh, be mindful of it, and if they. The nudes that we have, that I have, specifically, they're not grotesque. They're, they're only there to teach a lesson. Right. Well, I want to thank you both for coming on Louisiana Heartbeats. Thank you very much. Thank and you. again, thank you for your time, the uh, show is next Saturday's Art Walk, April 14th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Gallery R downtown, 116 East Congress, and it will feature the art of Carolyn Smith Hallam and Cheryl Guillory. And their journeys are entitled Heavenly Journeys. And Miss Guillory's show is entitled Reconstructed. <laughs> Both are personal stories. And I really appreciate you, oh. you coming on the show. Thank you Thanks very much, for having us. Thank you for having us. It goes fast, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that anxiety. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, um, 
Yeah, I'll have to get downtown. I, I love 